my name is Crystal Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel and the things that I'm trying to block out are still going on and I'm going to do this one time my my phone is cluttered up with messages from my mother and, un and unless my mother lets me be an adult Unless, unless my mother lets me breathe and, and be an adult and stop being silly and joining in with the bullying. Oh, hello, Janestra. And it sounds like Jennifer, but it's not. My name is Crystal. Okay. So, uh, you know, well, let, let hear I mean, this gives me earache constantly. I don't listen to them. I li 16 messages have built up on my phone. 16. <laughs> I am, I'm in my 50s. I'm not five years old. Welcome to your EE -E voicemail. You have 19 saved messages. First saved message received Saturday, June 15th. This is from the 15th of June. Good evening, this Saturday evening, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Wishing you good night and God bless, and I'll give you a phone call tomorrow. I hope you have a good day. God bless. To return the call at your normal call rate, press hash. To listen to the message again, press 1. Message deleted. Next. Saved message received Sunday, June 16th at 9.18 a.m. Hello, Janestra. You, your phone just on my phone. It's me, your mum, Jennifer, speaking from my landline phone. Uh, you rang me from your, or your... Your phone rang me here at my number. Um, uh, did you want to speak to me for anything, any reason, whatever? I'm in all day as usual. Uh, give me a ring back if you really need to speak to me for any reason. Okay, Janessa, I'll just return in your call. Bye. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Sunday, June 16th at 1.39pm. Good afternoon, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking from her landline phone to you, Janessa. Uh, just giving you another telephone call to let you know I'm thinking of you. And the reason being, as you know, you probably know anyway. It's Father's Day today, and it's your dad, Derek Charles' birthday, um, Father's Day. It is a day for him today, all right? And that is why I haven't kept bringing you too much or whatever, you know, because you were for, fond of your father. And I do know certain occasions you like to have a nice, quiet time and not too much going on. So I do, as I say, I, I have remembered your father's card today, it being your father's, it's father's day, but well, every father today, you know, as well as your father, Derek Chow. Okay, Janessa, just to let you know, I did remember, I had forgot, forgotten you, so you have a nice, quiet day. Bye for now. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Sunday, June 16th at 7.34pm. Good evening, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Hoping you've had a good day. Thinking of you, Janessa. I'll give you a telephone call tomorrow. I hope to see you later next week. Okay, bye for now, Janessa. Have a lovely evening. Bye. Good night. God bless. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Monday, June 17th at 1.10 p.m. Good afternoon, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking from her landline phone. Hoping you're having a good afternoon. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Monday, June 17th at 7.29 p.m. Good evening, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Hoping you've had a good day. Thinking of you, Janessa. Uh, wishing you a good night. God bless the map. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Tuesday, June 18th at noon. Hello, 
Hello, Jeanette. I'm just your mum speaking from the landline phone. The taxi's on its way for you, for you now. So can you be ready and look out? OK, bye for now. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Tuesday, June 18th at 5.27pm. Good, good evening, Janessa. So this is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Thank you for coming up to see me today. It was, it was really, I know it's an expression we won't like, but it was a delight to see you, Janessa, OK? Um, I'll give you another ring tonight to wish you good night. God bless. Thank you, as I say, thank you again for coming up to see, to see me today. And I look forward to seeing you sometime next week. OK, bye for now, Jess, Janessa. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Tuesday, June 18th at 7.25pm. Good evening, Janessa. This is the usual evening night time telephone call. Wishing you good night and God bless. Thank you for coming up to see me today and I'll phone you in the morning. Good night. God bless. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Wednesday, June 19th at 10.11 a.m. Uh, hello, Janessa. This is your mum, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Hoping you're going to have a good Wednesday today. Thank you for coming up to see me yesterday. I really appreciated it. And I give you, I'm in all day, and I'll give you a ring sometime again later on. All right. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Wednesday, June 19th at 3.48 p.m. Good afternoon, Janestra. This is your mother, Jennifer. Speaking to, to you, Janestra, from her landline, uh, landline phone. Hoping you're having a good day. Thinking of you, Janestra. I'm feeling a bit down today. You know, I don't know. I'm not physically well either. I feel very, very... No, I just feel very, very ill. I don't know why. Physically, mentally, I'm okay. But physically, I feel absolutely, you know, I'm just, you know, I don't feel well at all. Anyway, Janestra, you always talk, ask me to tell you when I wasn't feeling well, what I'm telling you now. But other than that, I'm coping. And thank you for Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Wednesday, June 19th at 7.34 p.m. Good evening, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Giving you the usual evening, night time telephone call. Wishing you good night and God bless. And I'll give you a telephone call in the morning. Good night, Janessa. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Thursday, June 20th at 9.19 a.m. Hello, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Hoping you're okay. Thinking of you, Janessa. I'm still not feeling too, good, too well at the moment. But, uh, message deleted. Next saved message. Received Thursday, June 20th at 7.33 p.m. Good evening, Janessa. It's nice to speak to you today on the telephone. Uh, can I just say good night, God bless, and I'll phone you in the morning. Okay, Janessa. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Friday, June 21st at 10.15 a.m. Good morning. This is your mother, mother Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone, Janessa. I hope you have a good day today. Thank you, Martin. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received Friday, June 21st at 11.07 a.m. Hello. You left me your number. I want to talk to you to meet you, really. I'm single and out here. I want to have uh, happiness together. Please call me back. Thank you. Bye. To return the call at your normal call rate, message deleted. Next saved message. Received Friday, June 21st at 1. Message deleted. Next saved message. Message deleted. Next saved message. Received today at 9.02 a.m. Uh, good morning, this 
Sunday morning dinner show. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from her landline phone. Well, Jennifer, I hope you have a good day. I must apologise because I didn't phone you late now. You know, you should have a good night. seems staged it seems like a setup like it's done so that I can't find anyone or get any happiness in this life that's what it feels like to me it feels like my mother is constantly on the phone um, and she is my mother and she's called Jennifer and she keeps saying Jennifer by mistake over the phone to me I walked into the co-op this morning. I'd actually listened to my mother's message before I went in there. I'm, I haven't been listening to them. 16 messages had all built up on the phone. I hadn't listened to one of them. So I just happened to listen to one voicemail message this morning. And then I went into the co-op. And, and they all got caught out. There was a dog tied to the lotto stand because she'd accidentally called me Jennifer. So there was a dog tied to the lottery stand. Dog tied to the lottery stand. Young woman with a, with a very thin dog tied her dog to the lottery stand inside the co-op um, there was men with bald heads like my mum my mum's got alopecia so there was men in there with funny red glasses and receding hairlines never seen these people in my life none of them so they got caught out there was underage people trying to buy a drink in the co-op as well so they got caught out. I hadn't been filming for a couple of days and I thought, right, I'm going to take the camera out because my mum's gone, Ugh, when she's uh, uh, put the message on my answer phone, Ugh, Genestra. And she's, she, you know, she's taking the mickey out of her own self. That's what she's doing. <laughs> I don't wear mascara. I don't wear mascara. I don't wear eyeliner. And this is my own hair, right? I've never ever seen my mum wear shorts, my mum. And it's ridiculous. Just to stop me finding somebody and finding happiness with somebody. And it's mainly women. That the, 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 it was a woman who tied the dog to the lottery stand. It's women. It doesn't matter what you look like. It, it really doesn't. And I'm tired of it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Behaviour from adults. Shop assistants. It's, it's dreadful behaviour. Do, do you think they were real shoppers? Real customers? Do you think that I could have had a real conversation with a real person in there? Or do you not think it was staged like I do? When I go out of the building, you've got dogs fucking barking. So when we go, I mean, I mean, I had an altercation with the guy upstairs. I, I had a I had an altercation. I had a disagreement about the noise that I was suffering inside my flat. 
this is like two or three years ago now I just I've got on with my life and I've moved on I don't hold grudges I don't even think about it anymore I move on with my life so he he's got two cars upstairs two a Ford Mondeo that looks like Levi Belfield's uh, car that um, he used to rape women in the, the navy blue Ford Mondeo that Levi Belfield, uh, it's, it's the same model, the same year of Levi Belfield's Ford Mondeo. So he swapped it over for a small black Ford and he parked his car outside the ginger haired lady's um, flat with the glasses. And she's been going out, no problems. No dogs bark at her when she walks down the road. She's got bright ginger red hair and glasses. No dogs bark at her when she walks down the road. Because I've been observing what's going on. So, you know, she's an older woman. I would say she's in her late 60s, early 70s. Ginger, bright red hair and glasses. She walks up the road. I don't hear anybody murmuring er out the window or, or having dogs bark at her right so if people want to do that to me that's fine that's fair enough um some of my tiktoks have, have got me with bright ginger hair and glasses the earlier ones but this is me now i don't look like that I've taken the ginger hair dye out and I've put coffee brown in and it's bubble hair dye and it's a lot better. It looks more natural than great big bright red ginger hair. So he parked there Friday night. There was a red car like my dad's Toyota Starlet parked outside my bedroom window yesterday. Now, he went out most of the day with his kids, which is excellent, good. There was no noise at all, no problem. I've got a red, I had a red uh, car like my father Derek's red Toyota Starlet outside my bedroom window. And my mum had said that she was ill, right? And I, I wasn't in bed yesterday. I wasn't in bed sick yesterday. Right, Derek's dead. How many more times do I have to say it? Get it into their fixed skulls that my father died three years ago. So that Toyota Starlet copycat car drove away from my bedroom before the guy upstairs came back yesterday and he parked his car outside my flat yesterday 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 evening and we don't get on with each other we don't he doesn't like me and i don't i don't like what was done to me right i don't i've got ptsd from it and i'm trying to fucking move I'm trying to move so this morning, I go to the co-op. I have all that shit in the co-op. Ricky Martin playing on the radio. Ricky Martin playing on the radio when I go in there. Right? All that fucking drama and shit gets into my flat, right? And he leaves the building at 10 o'clock in the morning and I've got his kids going uh, underneath my bedroom window as they're leaving. And that's the shape of it. That's the shape of what's gone on. I don't want to talk about it anymore. But can I just be left alone to live a normal life without all this horseshit, please? If you don't like me, fuck off. Simple. Don't include me in your childish games. See you later.